this week we are going to be diving into Grown by Tiffany D. Jackson. All right, so on the back of this one is just a lot of different reviews, excerpts from different reviews. So I'm not going to read the back, but the description is here on the inside panel. So we have Corey Fields is dead. When Enchanted Jones wakes up with blood on her hands and zero memory of the previous night, no one, the police and Corey's fans included, has more questions than she does. All she really knows is that this isn't how things are supposed to be. Corey was Enchanted's ticket to stardom. Before there was a dead body, Enchanted was an inspiring singer, struggling with her tight-knit family's recent move to the suburbs while trying to find her place as one of the few black girls in high school. But then legendary R&B artist Corey Fields spots her at an audition and suddenly her dream of being a professional singer takes flight. So I'm going to stop it right there. There is a, a little bit more um, to this description, but I'm going to stop it right there. Um, so just straight from that, we know that our key player is going to be Enchanted. Enchanted and Corey Fields, okay, who we know is dead because it those are the first four words. Corey Fields is dead. Um, so it kind of it opens with that, yes, it does, and um, then it kind of goes back in time before he actually died, uh, just so that we could see the dynamic of Enchanted's relationship with Corey, how kind of how high school was, her best friend, her family, that all of that dynamic and how that plays into um, the life that she leaves and kind of dives into the life of Corey Fields and stardom and fame and all of that stuff. So, um, this was the first book that I read by Tiffany D. Jackson. Um, and if you watched the whole video, um, you know that I also have allegedly, which I picked up after getting, after reading this one. Um, so she apparently was inspired by the R. Kelly uh, situation when you know that whole thing blew up um this was published this year it was published this year um in 2020 around september i think i got it maybe a little bit after it first came out um i got it from amazon um just because i had saw some other people had read it and i wanted to kind of see what the hype was about so having read it having read it in its entirety it didn't take me that long to read it wasn't very confusing at all with the back and forth kind of thing that it does um but i'm torn with this book i liked it but there are also elements that i didn't like about it um enchanted is a very believable character um and it, it just kind of explores how a young person can be uh, manipulated into you know <laughs> manipulated into anything really um into being in a relationship with a grown man you know and that things are not so one-sided you know you have the oh well where were her parents or where was this and how did they just you know you have all of those arguments um but at the end of the day you know teenagers are individuals and they want what they want the heart wants what it wants um so you have that dynamic going on. Now she does say 
that even though it's inspired by the R. Kelly case, it's not about that particularly. Um, it's more so about the relationship that she had, the author, that she had with a um, older male. And that sometimes that it could work. Now, just kind of going, sorry, I'm all over the place. Um, just kind of just going back into the story. Um, Enchanted, she meets him at an audition. She meets Corey at an audition and he woos her. And of course he does because he's famous. He's Corey Fields, right? And so she kind of falls in love with that idea and they start texting. Um, they start having little meetups. He just kind of shows up places um just kind of pops up you know like there's like homecoming and all of a sudden he's there all right just on the stage like hey you know um so you know he convinces her parents to let him uh take her away and take her on tour and you know all of that stuff and so then it just starts a downward spiral of abuse and malnourishment and a lot of other things of um, drugs um she does she does lean a codeine um so yeah this is a young adult book so there's not a whole lot of detail or it doesn't really go like in depth of the things of the kind of abuse that she suffered is not going to do any of that um which is okay i think that it works for this book um considering that she is very young and the audience that is geared towards you know you get just enough to understand what's going on you know you don't need to read all of the gory all of the nitty gritty to understand it um but you know you get a good sense so yeah so i i did enjoy a lot of parts of this book um and for me i guess i kind of was longing for just a little bit more of it a little bit more detail but that's just me um and the kind of my reading taste <laughs> i guess um so yeah it could have it could have gone a little bit deeper you know as far as i'm concerned uh but not for like teenagers if you have a teenage daughter i think this would be a good book for them to read um it's very uh i don't know I don't know. I don't know what the word, the word that I'm looking for just kind of flew away. Um, <laughs> but anyways, uh, yeah, so it does advocate for, um, for teenagers and just being careful about who you share things with, who you let into your world. And I think that, you know, for teenagers and for you know just young women and women in general it's it's something you know you have to really be smart about who you trust and who you let into your space so for that this this is a good book for that um yeah so that's it have you read it what did you think about it did you enjoy enchanted as uh, as the main character um I don't know I don't know what I can say about that I I enjoyed her I, I, I like the cover of this book first off um it's a very like I just I love it um so yeah that's really it's really about it it's not I will say that it didn't live up to the hype behind it, but it wasn't horrible. It wasn't bad. So, yeah.
If you read it, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought about it. You get in on this. Girls. Okay? So, that is going to conclude this installment of the book report. And until next time, happy reading.